Okay, so I got into the safe. This is a part two to free Glock and stuff. So today is Friday. I, I went back over and I was halfway through cutting on one of the corner edges with uh, the hacksaw. I was going to cut the bolt, but then I realized, you know what? This it's taking too much time. I don't have a proper grip for this thing because it's not. I have a. It's just a hacksaw blade wrapped in duct tape. How ghetto is that? So. Then I went on YouTube, and uh, I have the keypad, the little electronic keypad. It's a Sentry Safe. It's a common model. You can see them on Costco. It's the little one that has the the digits on this oval pad, and it has three indicator lights. Error, proceed, and um, uh, low battery. And uh, what I did was, um, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to hack the safe. But I got in, I thought about getting into the key first, but he put JB fucking weld on it where the key slot is. The little circle key slot, where you put, you insert the manual key, he put JB weld in it. Fucking retard, man. But I got into it, and uh, I was right. There were three Glocks, he had a 19, a 23, and a 26, you know, a baby Glock. All these loaded magazines, a few boxes of ammo, the, um, what do you call it, premium shit, uh, Hydroshock, yeah, that's what it was, it was Hydroshock, some critical defense, he had one box of Zombie Max up there, but it was in 45 ACP, um, I didn't see a 45 ACP though, so, you know, he had two AR-15s, one was, I think, from the police department, and the other one wasn't finished. It didn't have a butt stock. It didn't have. Uh, it just was a barrel, a pipe, and a t and a tube, you know. And uh, a shotgun. I think it. I think it was. I'm trying to remember the model. I can't remember the model. I know it was a 12 gauge, but I think it was his cruiser's 12 gauge shotgun because it was a 12 gauge pump, you know. Um, it was loaded, you know. I unloaded it. I, you know, I racked it until all the shells came out. It held six. Uh, he had a Ruger 1022 in there. I was drooling over that. I was like, I want that Ruger. Uh, and that was it. He didn't have anything else in there. But ammo and stuff. A um, few binders, I think, but I didn't look at those. Well, I get it open, and I'm looking through the guns. I'm handling them. I'm like, these are nice. I was hoping for some P-Mags or something. But no, he didn't have any magazines for any of the rifles. Uh, the AR-15 rifles, just uh, Glock, you know, some Glock mags and some ammo for the Glocks. So then she, the lady comes up to me and tells me, oh, thank you for getting the safe open. And about what I promised you, I'm sorry, but my son called me from jail and he told me that uh, when, when you get it open, they call the neighbor that he wants the neighbor's best friend to have all the guns. I'm like, What? But you said I can have them if I get the safe open. At least one of them. Can I have at least one of them? And I asked, wait a minute, who who am I supposed to be leaving this thing open for? And she says, um, I, I don't want to say his name, but she says, uh, another one of our neighbors, which is apparently his best friend. I know this kid. He's 19 years old, which is way under the legal age to own a firearm that's a uh, you know, handgun. And he's a five-time convicted felon. And I'm not kidding, right there on my, on my my Android. I went, uh, if you ask me, how do I know this? I went to pbso.org, looked at the Palm Beach County booking blotter, went on all, and uh, looked at his name. He has five felony counts. He had two grand theft autos. He had one, um, what's the what's the word? Uh, grand theft larceny above five hundred dollars or more. I don't know. It's it's hard to read those things. Um, possession of a stolen firearm, possession of stolen property with intent to sell, and um, possession of what was it? Class three narcotics with intent to sell. Anyway, it shows them. You know, whatever. I'm, I, no, I'm not, I'm sorry, man, I'm not giving, I'm sorry, I'm not giving this kid 
these fucking guns. No, I'll take them. No, that's not what my son wants. My son wants his friend to have them. No, I can't, I'm not doing that. Well, I'm going to tell you to leave now. You have to leave. Leave the safe open and leave. All right, fuck you. Fucking cunt. I did. I said that. I told her she was a fucking cunt. She's mad at me. Whatever. I grabbed this. I don't know. It was, it was a box. I put it in my back pocket. And I closed it. Well, first of all, there's this cap on the back right behind the code. Where you enter in the code. I popped the cap off. And I held the button down. And reset it. I changed the code. <laughs> so now if he calls his friend from county or whatever, wherever the fuck he is. They, he can't even get in, because I changed the code. I don't know what the code was before, because I got in there with a... I hacked it with a screwdriver. But I changed the code, and I'm like, bye! Close it, click, make sure it wouldn't open. Bye! Fuck you! Have a nice day, bitch. Anyway, done talking. Let me show you what I got. A T1... A T1... Is that a 1 or an I? T7... Tactical buttstock. Like, like I said, his one of the AR-15s in there was not complete. Oh, terrible! Was not complete, and uh, this is what I grabbed and left with. I was pissed. I'm not giving a bunch of fucking uh, valuable guns to a convicted felon who's 19. Hell with that. So. This is what I got. And it was, um, it wasn't even open. I opened it with my knife. The box. I opened the box up myself. So, it's never been opened before. This is nice. It looks like the Magpul. I don't know if I'll keep this or not. I think I might put it up as a giveaway item. I'm having a f upcoming giveaway contest. Whatever you want to call it. Do these come out? I think they might. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with it though. So some rails. Oh, heartburn bad. She really pissed me off. So there's three long rails, two mid rails, two short rails. I mean rail covers. My bad. Rail covers. Um, a screw. Um, a washer. I can't really see it. And a standardized pistol grip. And a manual. <laughs> so all I got from that whole experience. I spent three days trying to get that fucking thing open. Cut way half through the top right hand corner bolt halfway. Before I gave up on that. Ah, I left my, my hacksaw blade over there. Well, it was $4. She didn't have it. So, Safari Land Glock holster. And, and, uh, what's it called? The tactical buttstock. It looks like a Magpul. Uh, I'm going to look this up on the computer. Cause when I, um, when I, it's like almost 4 o'clock right now. When I got home, it was um, not even noon. I had that 2.30 feeling. Fell asleep. And no, I'm not drinking those damn uh, energy drinks. These things are bad. So yeah, I'm going to put this up in an upcoming giveaway, most likely. So, um, leave a comment in the description below on whatever. If you want to yell at me, if you want to, you know, go with my notes. I'm not giving a freaking three Glocks, three Glock handguns, you know, uh, two AR-15 rifles, a shot, a 12 gauge pump shotgun, and a Ruger 10-22. I'm not giving that shit to a convicted felon that's 19 years old. That that would be fucking retarded. Yeah. So that that's that's my point. But anyway, peace, peace out. Bye. Goodbye. Turn off the fucking camera.